Hey everybody, this is Matt here again with Shaving the Day. Today I'll be using the Sudsy Soaperies Lavender and Peppermint that I picked up in uh, St. Louis not too long ago. And I was not able to buy the aftershave at the stand at the farmer's market that I bought it from, so I did pick it up online. And I have used it once. And let me tell you that it is definitely one of the best aftershaves I've ever used. When you put it on, it feels a little greasy initially, but it dries um, very quickly. The scent lasts a very, very long time, and the peppermint, and it just has that amazing tingling effect, um, like menthol, and it's very cooling and refreshing, and I smelled it on me like all day. Like, even my hands, even though I washed them after I put the aftershave on, I could still smell it on my hands several hours later. Um, so, excellent, excellent product. Um, and the, the shave soap, they call it the triple, or the triple butter super creamed shave soap. I don't really know what the super creamed means, but it is a very soft soap. Um, as you can see, um, it lathers so, so well, and it doesn't, really doesn't take long. And it does hold a lot of water too, but as you can see, I didn't use very much. And I have all this lather in here in my Sterling collapsible bowl. It's that deep. Um, and you can see that there's a ton of lather in there and on the brush. Um, and the brush I'm using, let me see if I can get the lather off of the handle here so you can see it better. Okay, here's the handle. This is um, Wolf Whiskers. I have the, yeah, Wolf Whiskers. Um, don't know much about the company, but as you can see, it's a very cool multicolored handle. I think it's probably a few different types of resin. I'm not sure. I don't know how that works, but I'm excited to be using it. And then, last but not least, I'll be using the Gillette uh, TV Special Super Speed. Apparently it has different knurling on the handle than uh, the normal Super Speed. This is the only Super Speed I, super speed I have. It does have the flare tip. This was just sent to me recently by Elemental Hero Joe, and there's kind of a funny story because when he bought it off of eBay, uh, he was dealing with, uh, or he bought it from Connecticut, so he's had issues with the Connecticut post office several times, and it actually ended up um, in Puerto Rico um, on its way to him, and he thought for sure it would be lost and gone there, but um, it did end up making it hit to him, so... Uh, that's good, but yeah, I don't know why they would send it to Puerto Rico. It's very strange. I've never heard of that. But I have a um, Gillette 7 o'clock black blade in it, and I'm excited to use it. So um, I'm going to lather up here. I've already got some pre shave on my face. I have the tube 2.0. I'm going to start lathering here. And this soap really, really is just lathers so nicely. I think it's very underrated. Um, I don't I don't know how many people know about the Sudsy Soapery. I think they are um, getting a little more recognition now. I've seen Mark uh, Sorvi use them recently. But I really don't think they've gotten much attention. But they definitely deserve more because their products are really excellent. Like I said, it's one of the best aftershaves I've ever used. Um, it just felt really, really nourishing and, and I'm sure it has a lot of skin food ingredients in it. And although it was greasy initially, it dried really quickly, which I liked. It's definitely a little more viscous than a normal splash, which is a nice switch up. I don't know if you guys could hear that. Tilly is like making peeping noises in the hallway. Well, I've got about four days growth here, so um, let's see what this super speed can do. It's not adjustable, so don't have to worry about figuring out which settings you like because it only has one.
All right, all right, let's get started. Okay, fair amount of blade feel. Smooth with that Gillette 7 o'clock black. Pretty good so far. You can see the exposure there um, and the blade gap. I'm liking it so far. Very light handle, lightweight overall. Like I said, I got about four days growth, which is a pretty fair amount for me. Hope everybody's doing well. Um, again, congratulations to Claude. Um, I just mailed his um, giveaway winnings a couple hours ago. So it is now on, his, on its way to him, and I hope he enjoys them. Thank you to everyone who participated in that, and uh, again, to everyone for all the support. Um, on the channel. We really appreciate it and I hope to do more of that kind of stuff in the future. It's been a little while since I've done a shaving video so sorry for uh, a delay. I've just been pretty busy the last week. I definitely don't do like with the grain and across the grain in a traditional like orthodox way, especially on my neck. I've noticed lately I've just been doing it kind of in different ways, trying to figure out which way works the best. I'm not quite sure which, which way that is yet. It's uh, there's a lot of bleed feel on this razor. Um, I wouldn't say it's like uncomfortable. Uh, you can see I already nicked my Adam's apple there. Um, I need to stand back a little further, I think, too. Yeah, I got it in a few spots and I felt it while I was doing it. Um, yeah, a lot of blade feel. It's not uncomfortable, but it's a little more than what I am used to. To me, it feels pretty similar to like my Parker variant. I always felt that that razor has a lot of blade feel. Oh yeah, I got myself very good right there. Um, if you guys don't know, what the TV special is. It was only made like one year, maybe two years, I think. And it was sold um, through TV offers like uh, boxing matches, like commercials during boxing matches or baseball games, things like that. So it's kind of unique compared to the other super speeds. Um, I like it a lot. I might have to try it with a few different blades because, you know, it may um, feel very different with different blades in it. And right now, I'm, I'm not sure about this Gillette 7 o'clock blade, 7 o'clock black blade in it. I don't think it's the best combination.
No, I'm definitely not knocking the razor. It's a, it's a good razor. Um, I just need to figure out what I like best in it. Wow, I really, really was not being careful right there. Ooh, it's getting me around my mouth too. This is kind of in rough shape so far, guys. I'm gonna have to use my uh, styptic, styptic pencil probably. Here. All right, we're gonna start lathering again. I need to be more careful of this razor, and I really, am, yeah, you can see that those two cuts are coming back right away if I just wiped them off. Um, I'm not blaming the razor, I'm blaming myself. Glob right under my shirt. I just love this soap. It smells so good. Very strong scent strength with both the pepper, peppermint and lavender. Very good for any time of the year, especially the summer. Alright guys, if this keeps going in that direction, then I'm probably not going to try to do three passes, but we're going to keep pushing on. Trying to be more careful. Hopefully I don't nick myself a bunch more on this pass, especially the against the grain pass. I can already tell that the alum is really not going to feel good. Always struggle on my jawline. It's a very uncomfortable place to shave for me. Especially this one because I have a mole right there. I'm not worried about getting a super smooth shave this time. Sorry, I just realized I was probably standing too close. Uh, I need to adjust the camera angle so that I'm not blocking out any parts of the shave for you guys. It's going better right now. Knock on wood. I 
actually quite smooth so far. All right, we're gonna rinse and do one more pass. A ridiculous amount of lather that I have left in there for a third pass. I probably could do like seven passes with the amount that I have on here. And it really does get nice and protective and cushiony. Alright, I always like the flare tip look. It's just kind of classic, um, you know, from the time period. Um, and I just think it looks very nice. I would love to get a red tip and a, and a blue tip. And actually the uh, regular silver tip too. Hear that feedback? It's not super loud, so there's not a lot left to cut down. Which hopefully there shouldn't be by the third pass anyway. A little more on this side. Hope everybody's having a good week. Um, if you have any vacation plans or travel plans, let me know. I'd like to hear where you guys are all going. Very excited to go to Paris in October. Gotta be careful around this area. Nice. And I'm not even going to attempt to go against the grain on my upper lip. Just right here. Just go like that a couple more times. All right. Very smooth. Um, you know, not perfect, but very, very decent shave. Um, obviously, the irritation and cuts were uh, not ideal, but as far as this, the closeness that I got, I'm ha very happy with it. So I'm going to rinse off and then come back uh, after the post-shave routine.
All right, guys, I am back with the aftershave splash, but real quick, I wanted to uh, show you something. I heard her in the hallway making a lot of noise, and I kidnapped her and brought her in here with me. Um, so as you can see, this is Tilly. She's still really little compared to Hiccup. I'm not sure where he's at right now, but she's very cuddly and sweet. Um, really, really getting along with Hiccup well, and uh, just love her so much. She's so cute. Um, so just wanted to say hi from Tilly. Hopefully she doesn't try and bite my toes and stuff while I'm trying to put this aftershave on. Oh, yeah, she's doing it right now. No. Don't you go. Sorry. When she gets in a playful mood, she likes to bite and nibble. You know, she's still really young, so. Let's put some of this splash on. You really don't need very much. Um, you know, I just have, like, a little bit in the cup of my hand. But you can feel that it's definitely more viscous than a normal splash. And wow, I don't feel any burn from this at all. I was expecting to. But the loom did not feel good. But this always goes on nicely. It's almost like a combination of a splash and a balm. Feels great. I'm already feeling that peppermint tingle. Um, smells amazing. You really don't need to use much, so it'll last a long time. As you can see, I still have a few little nicks that haven't completely stopped, but it is much better after doing the post-shave routine. So, um, thank you guys for watching the shave and the video, and I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll catch you in the next one.